Welcome to my level three presentation on Google Docs. This is for edit 6150 at the University of Georgia. A little background before we go on to Google Docs, beginning with Web 1.0. Web 1.0 was the beginning of the internet. It takes us back to when the web was just about a consumer gathering information that was put on the internet by a webmaster, back when we had to dial up onto the internet. Don't we remember that lovely sound? Fast forward to now, we are now in Web 2.0. We are now the consumers and the producers on Web 2.0. Web 2.0 technologies are fundamentally changing how people socialize, communicate, shop, participate in public affairs, and learn with consequences for society, politics, and the economy. Web 2.0 learning is not just about adopting particular technologies, but equally about the degree to which teachers adopt more learner-centered, learner participatory, or collaborative practices. In an increasingly complex, demanding, and competitive 21st century, students need to learn more than the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, that they are tested on in school. It's time to help them go above and beyond by embracing the four C's, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. Tools such as Google Docs allow users in different locations to access the same file and edit and comment it in much the same way as Microsoft Word documents. Only these are done strictly on the internet. Shared document creation tools have obvious application for the collaborative authorship of teacher documents and student projects, but also offer logical means for teachers to provide students with formative feedback and support on their assignments. Now, let's take a look at how to use Google Docs. We're going to begin by logging into Google on a browser at www.google.com. I'm going to click on the sign in box at the top right of my browser. As you can see, I've already signed into this computer before. I'm going to choose which user and type in my password. Now we're back to Google's main site, only this time I'm logged in. I'm going to click on the picture that shows nine small boxes. This gives me a drop down choice of which app to choose. I'm going to choose My Drive. My Drive is where I have stored all of my documents, pictures, videos, and such. This drive never needs a flash drive. It's all completely saved on the internet. I can log into my Google Drive from any computer or device that is connected to the internet. As you can see here, I have many of my documents saved into folders for my different courses taken at UGA. By clicking on the Create on the top left side, I can create a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, or a drawing. For this presentation, I'm going to open up a document I've already created. Once I open this document, I can add, delete, or make any other necessary changes. The best thing about Google Docs is that you never have to hit save. Your document will automatically save each time you make a change. Notice on the top right but side of our window is a button that says share. Once I click on this button, I can share the document. As you can see here, I've already shared it with Dr. Deisler for last term. I can change where she can edit, comment, view, or is the owner. As you can see, I am the owner here. I can also change where specific people can see this. I can change it where it's public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access it. Anyone with the link, link, or I can go to specific people. By typing in the name of someone, As you can see, I typed in Dr. Dessler's name and it started to come up and I can change where I want her to edit, comment, or view. 
I may also click in this box up here at the top with this link to share. All I have to do is copy it and paste it wherever I need it, and anyone who has this link can access this document. Now that I'm back on my drive, I can go over here to the Shared With Me, and these are all of the documents that have been created by others and shared with me. Right here is a presentation that was shared with me by a couple of my fifth grade students this past year. I showed my students how to create presentations on Google Documents, and they loved it. They created a presentation for their own project. After the project was presented, many of the students went on to make presentations of their own. This is one that was shared with me on the last week of school that two of my students had created just for me. Back in my drive with my shared with me, I can click on a presentation, document, etc. that has been shared with me, pull it up, and as you can see, the student has shared a document with me. I have actually gone over here and I've added comments. I've added a comment to it, telling her that there was no need to make this all centered. Remember your letter writing skills. The next time the student logs in, she would see this comment that I posted on her document. As you can see, Google Docs is a fantastic way to do collaboration, especially for those who are not located in the same room with each other. It all goes back from our Web 1.0, where we were just the consumer, to the Web 2.0, where we are the consumers and the producers of anything on the internet. Shared document creation tools have obvious application for the collaborative works of documents or projects by teachers and students. It also offers a compelling means for teachers to provide students with formative feedback and support in their assignments. It is all incorporating the four C's of communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity.